Morning. Good morning. And how are you, my I'm lovely? I'm good. Cool. You come prepared? Well, no, I've got your. I've got some jeans to take back to Marks and Spencers. I've got oh, some trainers okay. in case these boots hurt my feet. <laughs> and I've got the coat. And I've blow dried my hair, and it's all lovely. And I bet it's all of a. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> oh, don't you know? Don't have fine hair. No, it looks lovely. Uh, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, well, you waited, just as well you waited later. What a lovely... I know, it's lovely so nice. When you text me, I checked the weather afternoon. last night and then when you texted me and said it wasn't going to be a very nice day, I thought, um... Ooh, I feel heated seats. Yours isn't actually on, mine oh. is. <laughs> Oh, I've got a burning <laughs> sensation. Cast wind. No. <laughs> oh, I don't do that. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quickly start my vlog. Okay. Good morning. Um, it is Friday morning and we are off out for a day out, aren't we? We are indeed. Off for an afternoon out. It literally, like we were just saying, it started this morning. It was chucking it down and we were thinking, oh God, what a... What a day. What a pig of a day, as you would say. I did when I woke up this morning. I thought, oh my goodness. So it was great when you said... Yeah, and I checked the weather forecast and said it was going I to brighten up. Um, suits me fine. Yeah, so we are off for a day out of shopping. Um, and maybe some, like an early... I booked us in for an early dinner. Oh, good. Early dinner. I'm, I'm glad we're booked in, because if we don't book in, we keep shopping keep. for another hour, and then we get to that... Not grumpy stage, well, I thought but we, could we stop need to for, eat, don't we, stage? I thought if not, we could always just grab a coffee from somewhere, oh, yeah. like when we get there or something. Or Lovely. Yeah, perfect. Should we head off? You look gorgeous. Thank you, you look oh, lovely as well. Oh, and look. Oh, my goodness I brought my me. bag. <laughs> oh, I thought it went with the outfit because I was putting oh, it days and I was like, well, I've got to bring my new bag out. Obviously, I went for the tan. I decided to keep the tan. Oh, definitely. I just thought... I know there was like a real mix of... Did yeah. you read through the comments? I did, I did read through some <laughs> Mum always yeah. reads all yeah. my comments. Make sure you're not mean, because <laughs> Mum's checking them. Uh, I've only got lipstick all over my teeth. Um, yeah, I know there was a complete mix of comments, wasn't there? Like, yeah, like tan, black, tan, perfect. black, tan, black. But, as quite a few of you pointed out, I think the style of the bag, being a, mul being a mulberry bag, and like that rich, like a little bit classic, it just really suits really suited the tan i thought I and did. i think there's so many yeah. lovely black bags around that i can just find a different black bag um so the black one is being collected tomorrow no monday actually oh i've still got the sticker on it um yeah the black is being have i got the sticker on it yeah the black's being collected on monday and um i am keeping this one perfect yeah perfect i think you'll get a lot of use from yeah, bag. yeah, like a lot of people said, summer, or well, all seasons, yep. and I think in spring, like with navy blue, or like navy blue and cream stripy t-shirts and jeans, and that sort of look, yes. that kind of love, oh, oh, apparently we're off again. <laughs> <laughs> Does it just do that when it... It cuts out when I stop, and then I don't really know why it started again. Oh. Although it does say, rear right low tyre pressure, I had a service, do they check your tyre pressure on a service? Or not. No, I don't think they do. I think it's more mechanical. I Is think it? the tyres are something. Yeah, it's literally you just come up this morning yourself. and said tyre pressure low, and I was thinking I literally had a service no, two days ago. No, they don't do tyres. I'm pretty certain they don't because no. I've made that mistake before. Well, I'll get loose to sort that. Um, anyway, let's head off to Gumoff. We've just popped into June, and Mum and I spotted these gorgeous black leather boots. Really lovely, chunky, with this thick. Um, leather strap around the top. They reduced from 150 to 45, but I've tried them on in, I'm usually a four and a half, and I've tried them on in the four and the five. Four are too tight, five feel way too big, so they're not for me, but really lovely boots and real bargain as well. We've just popped into Levi's and I spotted these jeans as I walked in. They are the high loose taper jeans, and they feel like really lovely and soft. They haven't got a 26, but they've got a 25, so I might try on the 25 and see how they fit and how they look on. We have just grabbed a few pairs of jeans to try on in Levi's because, um, well, I spotted a couple of pairs as I the ones I showed you when I came in, and they also had a sale as well at the back of the store. There was loads of styles reduced to about 20 pounds. A lot of them were skinny jeans, which they weren't. They, they were like bleached skinny jeans. But Mum found a nice pair of white ones. I found her. Which pair did I find you? Oh, these ones reduced to 35, which I think are a really lovely wash. They're the 501 original, but they're a 26. So they're quite cropped, 
Um, but I thought the wash was really lovely for spring and I've got a few pairs to try on as well. What do you think of yours? They look very similar to mine actually, but they're like half the price. Uh, I, I like them, I think maybe you, do you feel like they could be higher waisted? Oh, and I'm tugging them up, but I've got a shorter jumper on today anyway, haven't I? Mm. So, I mean, I love, I love the wash. I like, yeah. And I love the length. It's just getting used to seeing myself in a light, in, in a light pair of Yeah, jeans. especially this and, time of year. Yes, but I think they'd be lovely with um, trainers or loafers in the, in the What do you think summer. of these ones? I think they're lovely. I think you look lovely in anything. Yeah, but they're not. I like them, I don't love them. They're quite light. Okay. Oh, I just gotta get used to light jeans. I would never wear them with what I'm wearing now. No, I wouldn't of wear them with a black, no, I know. like, no, too dark. But if I just, in fact, let me just take my blazer off so I'm, I can I'm see. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to get these. Oh, jeans. you are? I think I should. Yeah. I just didn't think that you'd make a decision that quickly. Wow. <laughs> they look nice on your They're bottom. comfortable. Yeah. I mean, the chain, the mirror's not that much. No, it's <laughs> not the most flashing, and the lighting's not either. So the mirror's useless. <laughs> but these... I'll just show the side. They're kind of a little bit more like 90s, aren't they? Yes. They look a little bit like... Go on. Yes, just slightly old-fashioned. Well, yeah. They're kind of, because they balloon out here, don't yeah. they? I, li I like them, I don't love them. No. I think mine are, how much are mine? I'm not sure that's... Yeah, I was looking at that it's bit on you. bit on me. I was bit... looking at that bit puckering there and Quite thought... like the side. And yeah, the I like, and I love the, I always oh, think no, Levi's... Look at, look at the back of them. No. Well, can't... when you lean like that, Mum, you're, you're not going to stand like that, no, are I you? I can't walk up. It doesn't, it doesn't but you're your pushing your butt back. Back, of well, course. I'm standing still, but I'd have all that gathering. No, I'm not going to get them. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, no. Look. <laughs> no, that's... Okay, so we the no... We don't like the front, we don't like the back. Okay, so we the like no the for side. both of them. And yeah. I'll like, tell you what I love. I love We'll the... just have to just stand. I love the... No, shall No? We? It makes your bottom look like it's... I know, it does make my... Long... <laughs> Neville long <laughs> bottom. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Well, what are you going to put in a pocket anyway? Well, you put your hands in your... <laughs> what do you expect for 20 quid, eh? <laughs> um, oh, pair number two, and sure it's a no again, isn't yeah. it? Very disappointing that that's a... Mum, they were in the sale. I think you, you were just... You have to put your hand in a pocket. You can't just have your fingertips in like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got my fingertips in. <laughs> You I wouldn't would. put your hand in I a pocket, would, would I you? I would put my hands in my pockets, yes. <laughs> this, this lighting, that one's so you're going to watch this back and think, blimey. We stood under, like, the brightest light, you know, when it's just really unflattering. No, every, everything's wrong, babes. Everything's wrong. I don't like, I've dis I don't like skinny jeans. What do we think, think of these? Thing is, I like the um, cut of them, but they're just very cropped. I feel like um, Oliver Twist. I love the crop on them. Don't forget, you haven't got your shoes on. No, I know, it's really hard to tell with my little pale like feet sticking out. out. See what the bottom looks like. Yeah, I mean, it, they could do a little bit more on your bottom. They could lift a bit. <laughs> they, did, there was a, I've seen your bottom look. Yeah, you choose your better, wise, better, words better wisely, Missy. <laughs> no, I like the bottom on these. No, but. yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> I like your bottom, not no, mine. No. I'm definitely not having those. No. No, no. I mean, if, I mean, you can't get over that. The little pockets. So it's a no for these as well? Absolute no. Oh, I, well, you see, I like... Could you have a smaller size? I don't need a smaller size. It's a style of them, Mum. Yeah. How much are they? Yeah, okay. Oh, I haven't got my glasses on, do I? Oh, how much? Uh, 20? 20? 20 pounds. I mean, it's a bargain, isn't it? It is a bargain, 20 pounds. I think that... I really wish I had my loafers here so I could slip them on. What shoes? We've both got boots. Yeah. I just find they're a little bit too short to even wear with loafers. Like, they're very 
They're cr very cropped, aren't they? So what, do you wear them very cropped with them? Do you wear them with You don't, which is why they're reduced. Okay. I think. I think this style would look better if you were, if you were shorter than me and they came just above your ankle, you'd be laughing. You'd think, oh great, a pair of 501s for £20. I wouldn't wear them with flip flops, would I? I wouldn't wear them. I don't think I would. And then this is the third pair that I picked up to try on and I think that these are the nicest so far. These are just the regular 501s in a 28 length. But I do think that they'd be better shorter, I do. funnily enough. I think that they're that little bit too long, but the wash is really nice. Um, although I just said to mum, I think they are very similar to, a, to an Everlane pair that I already have. Um, I'm not sure I need another pair. But you really like them, don't you? you I think, love those. You said you were going to go and I'll, try I'll the go same pair on. Yeah, I think that's, it's a lovely wash. Mm. And a good fit. And, and a nice pair of jeans. You know? Yeah, I've just got, I don't I've never know. had Levi jeans before. Just come into the re-fitting room to try on a blazer. I didn't actually need to bring it in here to try on, but Mum's got some bits to try on, so I thought I'd come through. Um, but I think I have actually tried this blazer on before. I think I've tried this on before. Do you think I have? Oh, I, I just love it. But it is reduced to 185. I don't know what the RRP usually is, um, but I just think it's really beautiful, really lovely quality. Um, and then picked up a couple of tops for Lou. This one was in the sale, reduced from 118 to 45. Mum spotted that and thought it'd be nice. And then I spotted this one that I thought was really lovely for spring. It's like a little knitted, knitted polo shirt for Lou. And it's reduced to 42 from 98. Love the texture of that. And you picked up a few bits to try on. What have you got? I've got some jeans. Jeans, belt, and a couple of tops. And a couple of tops. Because yeah, so obviously I wouldn't wear the blazer with like an all black outfit. It would be more like a spring summer piece. Um, but this is how it looks on and it is beautiful. It's a size 10, but I think it actually fits quite well in the 10. Like I think this is how I would want it to sit. So I thought it might be a bit too big, but it's the last one as well. There was only one, but it is very beautiful. And I think I could maybe wear it this time of year with knitwear underneath as well, like with camel, roll neck, and kind of jeans or beige trousers. We've just popped in to fret. <laughs> Sorry, not the best angle. Um, we've just popped into fret for a hazelnut latte. We've only been here for a couple of hours, or so not even yeah, that yet. Not even that. No, we've been here long. But we thought we'd have a coffee break. We needed a little bit of a coffee break. We've been into a few shops so far and I have, rooms. yeah, I've bought, Lou a, I, I bought Lou a few bits from Reese which I've left there that I'm going, going to pick up. They had a really good sale in there actually. Um, and you haven't got anything yet, have you? No. Not yet. No, but we have Tried only been on. in like three or four shops. June, Tried Reese, Levi's, Perla. Um, yeah, I saw a bag I love, but it only came, it doesn't come in black, does it? So, so that's no, a really nice bag in Ralph Ren. I didn't show you it actually, but um, yeah, like a little little bucket bag with top handle. Not bucket, but it was like a small, small, like a mini bucket bag with top handle in tan. You wanted black, really, didn't you? Yes. Who wants a tan bag? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, we've got some hazelnut lattes that, are, lattes that are going down a tree and um, yeah, we've got to carry on shopping. We've just popped into Mint, Mint Velvet and I have picked out a couple of pieces to try on. Well, I say a couple of pieces. This is a blazer that I thought was navy and now I've got it in, I'm pretty sure it's black. So it's showing up lighter on camera, but yeah, I put it on and I was like, why is it? Yeah, why have I picked up a black blazer? I thought it was navy. Anyway, I also picked up this little bomber jacket to try on, which again, I wouldn't style with the outfit I've got on now, but I thought it was really cute. It's like a beautiful cream wool with obviously the cuffs and the collar. Um, and yeah, I just thought the style of it was really nice. And I think it's reduced to 79 pounds. I'm just not sure how I would wear it. Thank you. But it is lovely. It does, doesn't it? It's um and the smell from it. <laughs> Here we are again with the unflattering camera angle. We have just come into Grass Reef Lock for a 
a glass of wine and some food. And we've just had the most delicious starter. I will have inserted, or I will, I will insert, or I will have already inserted a cut away of it. But oh my gosh, it was delicious. It was like smoked salmon with curried cauliflower and mango chutney or like mango yeah, chutney-ish and like a almost like a hummus seed for the yeah. yeah anyway it was so good so good we kept uh, every mouthful we had we were like this is the best start we've had in a long time we couldn't even talk it was that nice <laughs> yeah. it was so good um and now we're just waiting for our main but we've had quite a successful coffee trip away yes lovely absolutely perfect i will show you what i bought but um feel free our mains have just arrived and oh my goodness, look how delicious. Mum has got the pork belly. Pork belly, red cabbage with apple. Uh, apple. <laughs> apple <laughs> so <Rat> sauce. sauce. <laughs> um, and dolphin Crackling. noir potatoes. Dolphin oh, noir that potatoes. does look delicious, Mum. You've got a good, good little medley I'll there. Some, I have got the stone bass with yes. prawn potatoes. Do you know what? I've got a feeling I've had this before. Thank you. Thank you very I've got a feeling I've had this before because it just rings a bell, the prawn potatoes. I think I have, but anyway, it looks incredible. I just had to show you our desserts before we start them because I have got sticky toffee pudding, of course. And, well, I say I have, we're sharing, aren't we? We are, we are. Well, we are. Kind of. And mum's got the souffle, the pistachio, pistachio souffle. souffle with Look rich at chocolate that. ice cream. And they smell, how good do they smell? Oh my souffle gosh, right, tuck in. Good morning, it is Saturday morning, it's ten past nine. And as you can see behind me, we have just had a food shop arrive from Ocado. And I thought I would unpack it with you guys because I don't know about you, but there's something I find very interesting about watching what other people have got from a food shop. Like, if ever anyone is on Instagram stories and showing what they bought, I'm I'm all over it. I love, I'm so nosy like that. Um, so it's just arrived and I thought, I got Lou to bring all the bags in because I was getting ready and I said, can you just pop them on the side because I'm going to show what I bought from Ocado. And I have not done a food shop, in like, an online food shop, in ages like it's been such a long time since i've actually ordered a food shop online oh sorry my hob's beeping yeah it's been such a long time since i've actually, I've actually um ordered a food shop online and i said to lou a minute ago i was like i don't know why like that's it i'm converted i'm back on ordering online because i did this order yesterday morning and it arrived this morning free delivery and it was just such a breeze i don't know why i've yeah i don't know why i'd stopped doing online orders i'm completely converted again um, but yeah, I thought I'd just go through, show some of the things that I bought from Ocado. I'm going to start off with the freezer bag because I've got a few frozen bags that obviously need to be put away first of all. That's frozen as well. Okay, not the most exciting bag to start with, but I've got a bag of frozen veg here. Um, and I bought some Ocado like, frozen spinach because I thought for my smoothies in the morning, I always have a smoothie every morning. Um, and I thought having frozen spinach was so much easier than having fresh spinach that goes off. So I ordered a bag of Ocado frozen spinach. And in case you didn't realise, Ocado do a range of their own brand that's super affordable. Um, so I ended up ordering quite a few bits of Ocado own range. So I got some bro broccoli florets. I actually got fresh broccoli as well, but I just find frozen broccoli really handy to have in the freezer. Um, for when you run out of veg. And I also got these, sliced mixed peppers, because I thought when we're doing fajitas or enchiladas or something like that, when you want just a handful of, well, when you want some peppers, but we haven't got any, really handy to have those in the freezer. And then, and a bag of Aunt Bessie's frozen chips as well, because the card also do loads of um, brands as well. Like, there's a huge variety, I was super impressed. Some fried chicken, again, Lou has these just of a lunch, you'd have them in a sandwich or in a wrap or something. And these are also for Lou as well, Ocado frozen sausages because he loves a sausage baguette for breakfast. Our diets are completely different. I'll show you like, as I pull out a few things in the bag, I'll be like, you're, I think you'll probably know what, Lou, what Lou's is. And frozen hash browns, they're for Lou. Um, again, Ocado's own rage. Again, really affordable for a big bag. 
Um, but yeah, we tend to eat, like I kind of, we have the same dinners, but I have more healthy breakfast and lunch, let's say. I actually got these for mum and I to have, um, in case you didn't realise, my mum works with me, so she's here with me three days a week. Um, and I wanted to change up some of the lunches, so I ordered these, they were on offer. Um, they are gastro, lightly dusted, sea salt and cracked black pepper, Barca fillets, Basa, Barca, and lemon and, black pe lemon and pepper fish fillets. I just thought they'd be really handy to pop in the oven and have with salad of a lunchtime because we're always usually having tuna baguettes or salmon or, um, not tuna baguettes, tuna jacket potatoes or salmon or salad and I just thought they were quite, quite nice for mum and I to have for lunch. And Lou doesn't eat fish. Either. And Lou doesn't eat fish either, so he definitely won't be having those. Um, anyway, I'm going to quickly put that. Our freezer is actually in the utility room. I don't know if you can see this door there. Uh, why can't I reach it? Why can't I point there? That door there goes into our utility room and our freezer's in there. So I'm going to quickly take the frozen stuff through. I think that's all that's frozen. Yeah, that's all the frozen bits. I'm going to pop those in the freezer and then I'll come back and show you the rest. Okay, moving on to fresh fridge food. And I've actually got quite a few bags of fresh fruit and vegetables, actually. Does anyone else hate putting freezer food away, by the way? Like, I've got really cold hands now. I always usually get Lou to put the freezer stuff away, which he also doesn't enjoy doing. So it's like, oh, can't you do the freezer bit? <laughs> Um, okay, so first of all, we've got a M&S pea shoot and garlic stir fry. Lou actually added this in because he just thought it sounded like a really nice stir fry. And also, by the way, if you haven't shopped at Ocado before, they also do a huge range of M&S food too, which is a real treat because, I don't know, we all love a little bit of M&S food, don't we? So we've got quite a few, I ordered quite a few um, bits from M&S as well. I think that's the great thing. There's like a, like a really big price range difference. So you can go for the Ocado own range, which is super affordable, or you can like mix and match and get a few more like treat items from M&S. There is something to suit every budget. So, those for a stir fry. We also ordered some M&S Padron peppers. Again, Lou added these in. These are so lovely, um, grilled with a bit of cracked sea salt on top. Really nice little treat. I don't know if you've ever had those as, as a starter in a restaurant. Um, but we had them, we were, I can't remember, where we, were, we were somewhere recently and we shared these at the starter and they were so delicious. So we ordered some of those from M&S and they were actually really reasonable as well. Um, I got some Ocado passion fruits. I just thought they'd be quite enjoyable to have cut in half as like a little healthy dessert. Um, cucumber, M&S cucumber. We got some olives as well. I think we got a couple of pots of olives. Oh, there's the other one. So I got, um, they had three for seven pounds on like the M&S deli bit. So I got Greek basil and garlic marinated olives, which looked really nice. And these ones were olives. Lou chose these ones. I chose these ones. because I actually prefer the dark ones. Olives with garlic, pimento and jalapenos, which looked lovely. And then I can't remember the other third thing. Um, garlic. Spring onions, fresh broccoli, like I said. I'm actually planning on doing, like I've got a couple of recipe ideas. Actually, again, going back to recipes, when I was looking through things, if you're, some, you know sometimes when you're shopping online, it's, it, like, it's hard to be inspired about what you want, actually want to cook. They've got a recipe section on there. So if you click on that, you can um, scroll through loads and loads of different recipe ideas, and then you can get the ingredients for that recipe. So it's really good to help you be inspired. Um, and I actually noticed they also had like a TikTok recipe section, which I thought was really interesting. It must be like, you know, you get the TikTok fact. Actually, I ordered kind of a TikTok recipe in here, not intentionally. Um, but yeah, you know, you get the TikTok recipes. They had a section of those. So very interesting, which I'm sure would be fun to look through. Chicken breasts. I'm planning on doing um, cashew chicken. That was one of the recipes I wanted to do. Lou's made it for me before and it's so tasty. It's um, chicken breast, cashew nuts, like, like rice wine vinegar, soy sauce or balsamic vinegar, honey. And you put it in the slow cooker with cashew nuts and it makes this really lovely sticky dish that you serve with rice. 
delicious. So, oh, and spring onions as well, and garlic. So that's what they're for. Leeks. I always like to make a leek, well, I sometimes like to make a leek and potato soup, so I'm going to do that with one pack of leeks. It was two for, I think it was two for two pounds or something, so I thought, oh, I'll get two packets. And then the other packet, I usually, after I've done a Sunday roast, if we've got a chicken, with the rest of the chicken, I strip the rest off and I make a chicken and leek pie for the following day or like a, for an extra couple of days. It's Lou's favourite, it's my favourite. It's like chicken and leek pie with whole grain mustard and it's so tasty. Um, obviously other ingredients as well. Celery for my morning smoothies. I, like I said, the spinach, celery, and then I put like lots of other bits and bobs in. So there for my morning smoothie. Ocado mixed weight free range eggs. Um, 15 of them, because we go for eggs. I've got a couple of bags of salad. These were, I think, two for two pounds or two for something. Again, on offer. Wild rocket and baby kale and spinach and baby kale for mum and I to have for lunches. A punnet of raspberries, Ocado own, own brand. I'm going to actually have these for breakfast this morning with some natural yogurt um, and honey. Love, uh, love raspberries. A packet of five minute home um, avocados. Again, mum and I have those of our salads at lunch. Oh, and I also got another pack of chicken breast as well because one pack will be for the stir fry and the other pack will be for the um, cashew chicken. I then got three packets of salmon. It was three for 10 pounds on, on lots of the meats and fishes and chicken. And I thought that I can freeze two and have one this week. I just love salmon for lunch, for dinner, but I don't have salmon wrapped in like a foil parcel in the oven with a salad. It's just my go-to, my go-to, um, lunch or dinner really so i bought three of those and then i think there was two more fridge bags here by the way i know there's a lot of bags but they all do get recycled it says on there um please return me to your driver for recycling so i will do that because i, I would definitely be ordering from Ocado again bacon for lou obviously carrots because i think i ordered hummus and i love dipping carrots in hummus um what's in here more fridge stuff basil oh sorry i've got our hobs on our island by the way and when i put cold stuff like fridge stuff on there it beeps so if you hear it beep occasionally that's why um bananas acardo bananas acardo baby plum tomatoes i've actually got two packs of these because again it was two for two pounds and i will tell you what i'm going to do with those in a minute well the plan is actually i'll tell you now because the basil's here i got basil tomatoes and a block of feta and i'm actually going to do you know one of those i've seen it on tiktok i've seen it on instagram where they put a block of feta tomatoes basil i think it's just tomatoes and feta in the oven add pasta stir it all in put basil on top i thought that'd be a really easy lunch that Lou would be all over so I've got that but if I don't end up doing that then we'll use this as salad cheese anyway we add it to salads Tropicana again that was on offer milk avocado milk I got two I think yeah I've got two roast chickens because I thought we probably will have one tomorrow sorry about that my battery went obviously I've been chatting for longer than I realized um, but yeah, we've got two roast chickens because I will probably do a Sunday roast tomorrow and then pop one in the freezer and have next Sunday. Um, and we also got some lean steak mints for chili con carne or spag bowl next week. I, I just find having mints is so easy. Um, and for Lou, he got a Spanish um, mild chorizo or chorizo, chorizo ring for omelettes he likes to it so in his olive in his omelettes um i got a mns british beef roasting joint in fact this was the only substitution i had so out of all of the bits that i ordered um and obviously i ordered a lot this was the only substitution which i thought was really good because i've done um orders at other places before and, and ended up with like eight different substitutions and random things that you don't want or you didn't order and it gets a bit annoying this was the only one and I ordered an, an Ocado roasting joint, 
avocado beef joint and got a M&S one instead. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain. It's not the end of the world, is it? So, and I think it was the same size, but just, yeah, M&S. And Lou wants to have his family over for roast beef, probably next Sunday now. Um, so I got that to do a roast with. Um, a pot of hummus for my carrots to dip in. And these were in the three for seven with the olives. This is um, chicken tikka breast fillets, which I thought mum and I could have for lunch with a salad, like chicken with salad and avocado and that kind of, that kind of, maybe some olives, you know, that kind of lovely, light lunch, healthy but tasty. Um, so that is all of the fridge bits. I'm gonna pop these bits away and then I'll show you the cupboard bits. fridge stuff is packed away. I've just got two more bags to unpack and this bag looks like it's all kind of laundry bits and sprays and things. So first of all I've got two of these, two for one bold um, fabric gel, sparkling bloom and yellow poppy and summer breeze. These were two for six pounds, two for six pounds, so three pounds each which I thought was so good. Usually usually they're way more than that. They had so many good offers on Ocado by the way, really good I was really impressed by their prices. Um, lime scale remover for the bathroom. Method anti back all purpose cleaner with rhubarb. Again, this was an offer, and I thought I thought it sounded really nice, so I thought I'd try that anti back cleaner for the kitchen. Um, some fabric conditioner, which was also an offer. Lenore outdoorable, out yeah outdoorable. Oh, lovely. Oh, that smells so nice and clean. Spring awakening. How delightful. I love trying new, like I don't tend to stick to specific fabric washes or conditioners or anything like that. I like to, I like to mix things up a little bit. I'm daring. <laughs> um, m and apple and black currant squash because Lou doesn't really like drinking water. He only likes drinking squash. Um, and this, sweet chili sauce. Love. We've actually got one of these in Oh, we've got two of these already. Thai Dragon Extra Hot Sriracha Sauce, which Lou loves, and this one, which I love, which is just regular sriracha sauce, hot chilli sauce. So good. All of these are really lovely. So I grabbed a sweet chilli one because I thought, if these are anything to go by, the sweet chilli will be delicious. And then, the final bag of miscellaneous bits over here. First of all, I could not not order Percy Pig for Lou. I got him some fizzy pigtails and Percy Pig and Pals because I just thought, well, you can't really do an, do an Ocado food shop with M&S food available and not order Percy Pig. He loves them. I like them, I'm not, I'm not like a huge fan, but Cadbury's cream eggs because it's Easter and who doesn't love a Cadbury's cream egg? Um, oh, Zaflora, it's got some linen fresh, linen fresh Zaflora. Quite often when things like this run out, I will fill it up with water and Zaflora and use as a spray as well. And it smells really nice. Um, gravy granules, Cadbury's hot chocolate, because as I mentioned in a recent video, we use this in the velvetizer as well. Because, like, I don't know if, if you've got a velvetizer, a hotel chocolate velvetizer, so good for just making regular hot chocolate in as well. It doesn't have to be special hotel chocolate, hot chocolate. Um, oh, a, a jar of pesto because, sorry, that's beeping again. A jar of pe pesto because such an easy dinner. Pasta, pesto, chicken, and like, I don't know, tomatoes if you've got any, or onions chopped up in there but just a really simple, or even just pasta with pesto and cheese on top. The easiest, quickest dinner when you don't know what to have. And everyone's got pasta in the cupboard and everyone has, well, not everyone, but you can get a, leave, this, leave a jar of that in the cupboard. And orange squash. Um, some flatbreads because we love having like, I don't know, chicken flatbread or something like that for lunch. So I thought they were handy. 
a um, regular bisto as well. I think they were two for two pounds or something like that. A pack of four tuna, Ocado tuna chunks. Like I said before, mum and I have tuna quite often for lunch. Easy, can stay in the cupboard. Nice, easy lunch. A bag of Ocado potatoes. And two stir fry mixes. These were on offer actually. These were, um, I think they were 35p each for stir fry mixes. So I grabbed a couple of those. They were like less than half price. And I thought they're just handy again to have in the cupboard when you want a quick, easy stir fry mix. And then the final thing that I ordered are some tea pigs apple and cinnamon tea bags. I thought they sounded really nice. I raved before about the um, lemon balm ones, which they also have on a cardo, but I thought I'd try something different. And again, these were on offer, and I thought they're nice, like, I don't know. You only get 15, but they're like a little bit more of a treat tea bag. So that's everything that I ordered from Ocado. Um, just to mention, you can get free delivery off your first shop, which we got, which was lovely. Like I said, ordered it yesterday morning, came this morning. So easy, lovely, friendly delivery guy. And I always used to think that Ocado was a little bit too, like I always thought it would be quite expensive or a little bit kind of like a treat or quite a posh shop to do. And I kind of didn't really look on there before, but I was so impressed by how many deals, how many offers, how affordable the Ocado own range was. Um, so don't be put off by the fact that you think, mm, Ocado's a bit too expensive, it's a bit too kind of posh, because you will be very pleasantly surprised, I can assure you. And also they've got like loads of different things like homeware. I saw some really nice wine glasses um, that were about half price, and I thought, I was very tempted by them, but I don't need any more wine glasses. But they had like, yeah, it, loads of different bits. Anyway, I'm gonna put these last few bits away, tidy off, and then Lou and I are off out this morning. Um, so I will probably take you along for the ride. So I've just made myself a breakfast smoothie and I have got in there, I've got so a lump of, at the bottom is a lump of that frozen spinach that I've just got. I've got a pear, two sticks of celery, a lump of ginger, you can see floating around there. Um, obviously I filled it with filtered water from the fridge. And then I've got some cel. oh I said celery, didn't I? And then at the top, these powders are, so I've got this, which is Hascap berry powder. Um, blue skins and crimson flesh are packed with purple power. They're bursting with natural goodness due, to, due in part to their unique anthocyanin and antioxidant profile. So it's basically just powdered berries. I pop them in this jar and they're really good for you. I've also got this organic functional blend Natura Natura Immunity Powder, wheatgrass, barley grass, and kamu kamu. That tastes awful, but obviously it's very good for you. I've got some chia seeds in there, and then I've also got some Dose and Go Dose and Co Marine Collagen Powder, which is amazing. I have noticed such a difference in how quickly my nails grow since I've been using it. Um, so I put about a spoonful of each in there. just drank half of it already and I realized I forgot to show you it um, but it doesn't look the most appealing obviously the color of it and yeah it's not the most attractive smoothie it definitely doesn't taste the best either <laughs> but I think yeah obviously it's really really good for you and I'm quite good at drinking things that don't taste amazing like I know some people would want to add more fruit to it to make it a little bit sweeter or honey but I quite like to just get it down me get it down me get all that goodness in me and start off the day well. Good morning, it is Sunday and Lou is just you don't mind me vlogging, do you? No, 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 no. Lou is just making um, breakfast for us. Well, brunch now, isn't it? It's quarter to 12, so yeah, he's just making us some brunch. I'm having... Brunch for me. Huh? I'm making brunch for me, but yours doesn't really sound like for me. No, I'm having um, poached eggs, not poached eggs, boiled eggs on toast. I didn't really on fancy... Toast? Well, where else am I going to eat them? There's just going to be two boiled eggs. Why don't you roll around on top of the bit of toast? 
I fancied, I've seen a few people on Instagram, <laughs> and I know, obviously I've had it before, but I've seen people like, boi rather than poached eggs, like boiling them and then peeling the shell off, and they just look like a little bit more appetizing. I can't explain it, I just thought, actually, I might try that. So Lou said he was making brunch, and he said, do you fancy anything? I said, actually, I just fancy a couple of eggs. So that's what I'm having. Um, might have, have you put some chips in? Yeah. Might have a few chips as well. Um, oh, I feel tired this morning. We stayed up quite late last night, didn't we? We were watching The Tinder Swindler, um, which we enjoyed. Pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Tinder Swindler. I, I feel like you've probably already watched it because everyone's talking about it, but if you haven't, then I would recommend that on Netflix. Mental. Um, I won't say what it's about, but it's pretty obvious once you start watching anyway how it's going to turn out. Um, but yeah, we watched that, and then this morning I've just been having a little bit of a tidy round. Um, and then Lou's family are coming for roast this evening, aren't they? Yeah. Um, we have got, yeah, Lou's, Lou's, um, mum, dad, sisters. Is it, is it all yeah. four of them are coming, yeah? Five. Mum, five. Dad. Oh yeah, four. Yeah, it's five, including me. I was thinking, who's the other one? <laughs> um, yeah, mum's, Lou's mum, dad and sisters are coming round. Yesterday, we, yeah, we, um, Yesterday we went out, we nipped, oh we went for a beach walk yesterday didn't we, which was lovely. And then we went, we popped in to see Lou's mum and dad, just because they live near where we were walking. And ended up staying there all day, didn't we? Yeah, watched the football. We literally just sat in there, they've got really like lovely cosy living room with a fire, so we just sat by the fire and just chilled all day really. It was a lovely relaxing Saturday. And then today, um, I think my, well my sister, and her partner and children may pop in for coffee. I just text them and said, do you fancy coming over for coffee? But I don't know. Um, but anyway, I've got a couple of packages that sat on this stool here. Let me just put you there. A couple of packages that, oh God, you're far too low down there. What can I? Oh, you're gonna be the cameraman, are you? <laughs> Are you actually prepared to stand there while I open both of them? As long as you like, if, if that pan starts to boil over. These arrived yesterday and I kind of got a right angle going on. <laughs> and I thought I would um, wait and unbox them. So I've got a little, little package from Estee Lauder. Ooh, ooh, hello. I suppose that's supposed to be sat like that, isn't it? This is the Revitalizing Supreme Youth Power Cream. Yeah, I think you need this more than I do. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, blimey. I love Estee Lauder um, skincare anyway, so I'm sure this will be delightful. I was, I've was i been using the night cream recently in the blue blue um, pot. <laughs> Lou's literally looking at me like... <laughs> um, yeah, the night cream in the blue pot, so lovely. Really, really thick and like feels really nice on the skin. And then, be bored. Oh. Let yeah. me get a knife. Let me put the camera down. Are you worried about the pan? No, go on, you go. I, I mean, I did think that when you took it off me, what are you doing? You're just gonna have to stand there while I unbox two boxes. Okay, sorry to be annoying, but I literally just opened this PR package and it said, on this little thing, it says, shush, this package, this special delivery is under embargo until 8 a.m. on Tuesday the 8th of February. And I'm not sure when this video is going up, so I thought, I didn't want to kind of like show you what was in there just in case this video goes up before Tuesday or on uh, Is this going up tomorrow? Yeah, anyway, I'm not sure. Um, so I won't unbox that, but it is some skincare, a skincare launch. So my eggs didn't quite work out how I expected them to. This one I got out a bit early, so it was underdone. Then I put it back in and yeah, they're a little bit more hard boiled than I imagined, but I'm having some sourdough, beans. I wasn't actually planning on having chips, but Lou just popped some on my plate. And he has got a bit more of a fry up over there. Mm -hmm. And then orange juice. 